I'm Andy from BCA and today we're talking about navigation apps. If you've spent any time in the mountains, you know how important it is to navigate out there. Back in the day, we used to use a map and a compass and it was a little bit more complicated to navigate. Today, we have a lot of new apps out there that are a great tool. And let me tell you, if you're not using a map, compass, or an app, you better be careful next time you're out in a whiteout in a new zone because you could get lost. I like navigation apps because they're great for planning my route at home. I can plan my route and open and close terrain based on the avalanche danger of the day and the problems highlighted in the forecast. There's a few great apps out there to use. There's Gaia, CalTopo, Onyx Backcountry, and FatMap. Some are a little bit more focused on identifying avalanche hazards and avalanche terrain. I love to download the route into my smartphone before heading out for the day. And sometimes I'll even change map modes and look at the satellite imagery just to check out the different spacing of the trees and identify easy and passable routes. It's great to use these apps to stay on track throughout the day, but don't turn your brain off when you turn your phone on. It's still key to look around and observe what's happening in the field as you travel. Because remember, these apps do have limitations. Sometimes they don't pick up a steep convex rollover that may fall in between contour lines. They could drain your battery also. I recommend putting your phone in low power mode and airplane mode when using these apps. But keep in mind, these apps aren't a substitute for a satellite messenger. Your satellite messenger is gonna be used to alert a third party if an accident were to happen, or help would be sent in. And of course, these navigation apps don't replace your transceiver. An avalanche transceiver works at low frequency and can penetrate through the snow, while a GPS functions at a higher frequency and can't get through the snow. These navigation apps are a great tool for going through the backcountry, but they're just one tool in your quiver. So keep your head up, look in front of you, to the sides, up the mountain, and be overall really aware of your surroundings as you travel through the backcountry.